Okay, folks, we've tried reloading the page, restarting the computer. Uh, right now, the rest of you guys are just censored from us, uh, so sorry if we miss any of your videos. Hopefully this will change today. Uh, we had a pretty bad power outage in Oahu. A couple thousand people lost power. This was due to an electrical issue causing a generator to trip. We had a nuclear event in Minnesota last night, but they say this is a chlorine bleach leak and there's no radioactive, uh, no radioactive um, worries. The Caribbean and Cocos Plate region woke up seismically the last 48 hours and another volcano is on watch in Chile. We had two separate ship accidents cause oil spills yesterday, one off the coast of France and another one uh, in Singapore just uh, a bit west of Indonesia. We also had some increased seismicity in the Iran, Iraq, Turkey region with the largest earthquake being a 5.0 in southern Iran. And we also had a bit of extreme weather in the eastern part of Australia. Uh, we saw some tornadoes yesterday. Folks, we'll put this link below. Each one of these is an individual satellite with its own computer, navigation, propulsion. Uh, it's very, very cool. We'll put this link below along with a link to this story. This is the next in their continued series of evolutionary transitions that life has made here on Earth. They're both pretty good reads. Right now, folks, the solar wind speed is uh, 432 kilometers per second. That is slightly above ambient levels, and that's probably what's causing uh, continued slight temporal variations on our induction magnetometer. A lot of you guys know we had this tiny little coronal mass ejection just south of the coronal hole that was pointed at Earth uh, come off yesterday, and we had this beautiful magnetic filament rip off just uh, north of center. Now, since then, the sun has gone completely quiet, no flares, no ejecta, but you can see here on NASA's CME Evolution Endless Spiral, they expect this CME to impact Earth. Look all the way over on the right for the splash effect on the yellow dot. That's Earth, and that would be the CME hitting right there. So we have about a day uh, left to go, maybe two days at the most, uh, to watch all these tools. We have a coronal hole stream that's going to hit us, and probably some ejecta from these coronal mass ejections. Be safe, everyone.